Good morning, folks. Our seismic alert from yesterday didn't wait long. Major earthquake struck the North Pacific. We've got key science updates of the day, and we're starting with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. The last 24 hours on the sun is starting to look like sunspot maximum, coronal holes, bright active regions, pops from the sunspots. The coronal holes and geospace conditions are carrying the earthquake warning for the coming days as well. And if you didn't catch the little pop at the south central active region, never did make it out of the corona, and it is small, but you can see it's trying to build the energy to erupt the CME. This happens to be the location of the best sunspot of the cycle so far. They have been small even when coming in groups, but this has well-defined central dark umbra and the energetic power to make the surrounding penumbral interface region, like the colored part of your eye around the pupil. The other feature of note on the sun is a towering solar tornado on the northeastern limb. Standing five or six Earths tall, it is a vertical plasma filament. At slightly lower latitudes, it would be an excellent candidate for coronal cavities. Quick look at the solar wind here, shows the purple line rising, that's plasma speed, but only to the higher end of normal range. No shock waves in the density signature, and geomagnetic conditions are stirring slightly, but all in the green. Well folks, for a couple of days we've been saying to look ahead in an earthquake watch, and yesterday we said we were entering the warning and alert phase of the event. Within hours, a magnitude 7.5 struck the Alaska region of the North Pacific, Luckily, it was 40 kilometers deep. If you recall from the last few days, we do not just expect one rumble. This is an extended watch, and it should be a solid uptick the rest of the week. Splendor in the sky to begin the articles as the Orionid meteor shower is here. For the first time in history, we have an excellent chance of catching the Starlink satellite train waltzing across the sky amidst the October bombardment. It is not expected to be a tremendously heavy year for the shower, but always a good show if you can get out and see it. A significant study up next finds the Milky Way halo to be an active and alive beast, and quite clumpy. It's not just the spread, dispersed matter outside the intermediate galaxy, but it is part of the inflow and outflow system. Galaxies are not isolated islands in space, and this is one of the final pieces of the puzzle from cosmic web to galactic dynamics. The CGM interaction halo of the galaxy is where the material from the cosmic web feeds down into them in helical spiraling vortex currents so it is an important but challenging region to study. Last but not least, folks, progress marches on in mapping the skeleton of Earth. The foundation of this work was actually magnetic field analysis, and by the way, if you look at the non-dipole component of the fields, 6 is where the south magnetic pole is, and 3 is on the path being taken by the north pole for their Indian Ocean collision point, and the non-dipole field peaks are closer than I'd imagined, with the opposite side of the world beginning to have the fading magnetism twist into a yin-yang. It'll get there. But more importantly, it's its finding of the density marks at the core mantle boundary. These are the footprints for the Earth's skeleton. The density variations detected in the mantle suggest unfathomably massive structure connecting the deep and the crust, or at least up to the low velocity zone. The breakdown of this structure and mantle heaving is one of the great concerns during the solar micronova and ongoing magnetic excursion of the planet, as they are conductive pathways to the core. There's a lot on this in our new book coming up in a few months, and even a bit in Chapter 8 of our existing textbook, which is only available in PDF form until tomorrow, by the way. We greatly appreciate your support, including clicking the like button on the video. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.